In this video, we're going to go through spring tension levels for an exercise. We're going to go through the spring tension levels for the standing splits. And we're going to take the spring tension gradient here and we're going to break it into the different levels um, in alignment with the load challenges. So we've got two different loads that we could use. So it's pretty common to think that with spring tension you could say you could make an exercise harder with less resistance or you can make it harder with more resistance. Now when we dive into that what that really means is if any exercise is harder because you have less spring tension that tells you your body weight is the load and less support makes it harder. And if any exercise is harder because we've got more resistance that tells you your spring tension is the load and working against the tension is the challenge. Now the standing split is a really good example of how the spring tension itself will determine which muscle group we're loading and the level of intensity. So here, if we were to look at this gradient, what we can say is in the middle between the medium and the heavy spring, this is the difference between working the inner thighs and working the outer thighs. So the medium spring is the level one, the beginner level of working the inner thighs. And as you decrease the spring tension, it means you have to work harder to support yourself. And what we could say is spring tension here will determine the muscle group we're loading and the level of intensity. So the medium spring is the starting point to work the inner thighs. And this would be the level one option. The light spring would be level two, no spring would be level three. So we can say that spring tension will determine the muscle group, the inner thighs, and the level of intensity. So there would be the three options. I'll put that down for you. Level one, level two, level three. Now on this side, we can actually focus on a different muscle group now. The heavy spring is enough resistance for you to have to push against the carriage to make this carriage move. So now doing this side, we're actually working the glutes. So as you increase the resistance, you increase the challenge. So now we could say that the heavier it is, the harder it is. We can say that the heavy spring is level one. We've got level two and level three. So in this exercise, the standing splits, the spring tension is determining the muscle group we're targeting, which is the glutes, and as you increase the resistance, you increase the challenge. Heavy is level one, level two, heavy in yellow, level three, heavy in medium. So what we've done now is we've taken the spring tension gradient and we've organized it into uh, spring tension levels for exercise, and the levels are basically levels of intensity. So if you are a brand new client starting out, what's going to happen is starting with the level one option would be the most successful place to start. It's going to be the most achievable. But as you get stronger, what we need to do is find a way to progressively overload you. In this exercise, that means that doing the same exercise but with more resistance is how we make you stronger. And it's exactly the same process on the other side. On this version of the standing split, when we're targeting the inner thighs, and we've got medium tension as the easiest option. If you get really good at that now, how we're going to make you stronger is by doing the same thing with less support. And if you take a big step back and have a look at the entire picture, every single exercise will have a muscle group that's being targeted, will have a load which is being used, and a direction of progression. So here we could say that every exercise on this board has a target muscle group, inner thighs, outer thighs. Every exercise on this board has a load we're using, using body weight, using spring tension. And every exercise has a direction of progression. Less spring tension is harder, more spring tension is harder. But we can take that. Every single exercise that uses springs is going to have those three things. So when you look at the spring levels in the Reformer Academy, 
basically now you have the game plan, you have the matrix blueprint to understand that every exercise, uh, how to scale it. If you take those class uh, levels, you can bring them straight into your classes and you can start to scale exercises with the load. So in the next video, we're going to go over in more depth how bodyweight exercises work with the spring levels.